YouTube, what is going down, man? I am back at y'all boys again with another video, man. And 2K got me up early, bro. They got me up early working, man, because they decided to not only release the cover athletes for the game, but they decided to give us a trailer today as well, man. And honestly, I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but I feel like compared to how they used to move in previous years, this is kind of early for 2K. I could just think back to even last year, I complained about them taking too long to release information or a trailer for the game, and the game was just about to come out. So fast forward to this year, I mean, we got a decent amount of ways until this game comes out and we finally got the cover athlete and we finally got a trailer for the game, man. So that's a big positive, man. But with all of that being said, man, let's just stop talking. Let's dive right into this thing. I'm going to tell y'all seven things that I learned from this trailer. It was only 15 seconds, so it's not too much to know, but there is enough for me to compact and listen and tell you guys everything that I noticed from this trailer, man. So let's just dive right into it, man. The number one thing that I noticed from this trailer is that it is officially confirm the WNBA will be a part of this game and this is a major thing hopefully they don't drop the ball on it the way that the NBA live franchise dropped the ball on the WNBA as well now if you've been following the game this is honestly not new news this is something that we have been knowing about for a little while man with WNBA players leaking that they were going to be a part of the NBA 2k franchise so this trailer just confirms that this trailer just lets us know something that we've already known another thing that we already know is that this is not the first game to include WNBA characters in the game NBA live did this two years ago and this was big news for them but honestly they dropped the ball so maybe 2k may do a better job at not just putting them in the game but actually putting them in other game modes besides play now which they are only available in in nba live but the number two thing that i noticed from this trailer is this is our first time seeing zion in nba 2k now honestly they really ain't give us too much to work with with them only showing him for like literally 0.5 seconds and them only showing his back but this is our first time seeing the number one pick he's a hype player so of course he has to make his way into the trailer i honestly think they may have possibly only shown his back because they didn't have him scanned i could be wrong but this is the only player in the trailer that we don't see his face everybody else we get a good look at the faces in this game the number three thing that we learned from this trailer is that there will be three different versions of the game there are three editions that they show at the end of this trailer. They show a standard edition, which is Anthony Davis in a white and red jersey. And then we see the digital deluxe edition, which is Anthony Davis in a white and gold jersey. And then that's when we see the legend edition, which is the Wayne Wade on that cover. Side note, this cover is hard. This is one of the hardest 2K covers I've seen. I'm going to keep it honest with y'all. But back to the list, man. And the fourth thing that we noticed is that we get our first look at some of the players in this game. Obviously, with this being the first trailer. So, the players that we see in the trailer are AJ Wilson, Zion Williamson, LeBron, Kawhi, Kevin Durant, and Anthony Davis. But that leads me to the fifth thing on my list. And the fifth thing is, graphically, if this is 2K20 that we're seeing with all of the player models, there really isn't any big visual jumps from NBA 2K19 to NBA 2K20. Yes, I understand this is an annual franchise and it's not too much that they could do in a one year span but 2k has done a pretty good job at updating this players year to year so it's kind of hard for me to see too many differences in this trailer maybe it was just the angles but that's one thing that i noticed and then that brings me to the sixth thing maybe they're running on an older version of the game or maybe some of the clips in this video is from 2k19 because they didn't put anthony davis in the laker uniform even though he's been traded ever since draft day but they put zion in a pelican uniform now i understand that they have him a part of the next chapter portion of this trailer and he's dapping up lebron showing that he's going into the next chapter of his career but again he's been traded for a little minute so maybe maybe possibly they're running on an older version of the game and the seventh thing that i noticed is that next is a prominent word for the nba 2k 20 game it's all throughout this trailer as you get the next chapter with ad Kawhi, and kevin durant and then you have the next generation with zion as well as aja wilson who's the number one draft pick for the wnba last year and then you have the word next on all three covers of the game so obviously the word next is going to be a prominent word for the game next season maybe it may be the theme for the micro portion of the game maybe you could be the next big thing but that's all i got for y'all boys man it was only a 15 second trailer and those are seven things that i noticed from this trailer man so y'all let me know do y'all agree with it being three versions of the game how do you feel about the wnba possibly being a part of micro and female characters being in the park but that's all i got for y'all boys make sure that you like subscribe hit those notifications so you can join the gang gang and um we out